How you doing, sir? Hey, Scott, I'm doing well. How about you? Doing great. It's it's, uh, it's uh, great to be up here. Great uh, rocket launch to uh, space and then the rendezvous to the space station. It's like, uh, you know, coming to my old home. <laughs> yeah, I know you said it was like being back home. And, uh, you know, I'm, I we had a great time having an opportunity to spend some time with you and Gennady and Mikhail. And, uh, and uh, we were really glad that I could help give you that last little kick going aboard. So uh, we're excited about the year ahead. Yes, sir, I am too. It's uh, going to be a lot of work, but uh, I really look forward to the uh, privilege of, um, you know, serving NASA and our nation uh, as a crew member aboard this uh, really wonderful space station we have. Well, it's really exciting to have you there, Scott. And I think, you know, as we talked about a little bit when I was over there in, Kaz in uh, Kazakhstan with you and Mikhail, I think it's really, really important uh, that everybody have an opportunity to view the two of you working as a team uh, you know, this is a really important step on our road to Mars. Uh, you know it and you speak of it far better than I ever could. So, uh, so we're excited about having you and Mikhail there as, as partners and excited about seeing all the, all the things you're going to do. Yes, sir. You know, one of the, the themes that, uh, you know, we all keep harping upon is this is, uh, you know, one crew, one space station, you know, not just me and, and Misha, but, uh, you know, the three guys that have been up here, um, you know, since, uh, you know, for the last four months, Terry Virts, Samantha, Christopher Reddy, and Anton Skaplerov, and we're, uh, you know, with them and me, Misha, and Gennady, we consider this one big space station. The international partnership is one of the things that has made this such a success, and that's uh, one of the things that's most important to us right now. Fantastic. And I'd love to sit here and talk to you forever, but uh, I understand there's another important person uh, who's on the line, and it's Dr. John Holdren, the President, Science Advisor, and the Director of the Office of Science and Technology Policy. So uh, I think Dr. Holdren has a couple of words he wants to give you. John, if, if you're there, you got it. I am certainly here, Charlie, and, and thank you uh, for, for letting me uh, take part in this call. Uh, Scott, I want to start by uh, congratulating you on behalf of President Obama and Vice President Biden on the successful launch. Uh, all of us wish you the best of luck in this unprecedented year-long mission. It was uh, great chatting with you in anticipation of this mission when you came to the President's State of the Union address in January as a guest of the First Lady and sat in her box. Uh, now you're up there and uh, we're watching you with uh, enormous interest, uh, not least because this mission is uh, bringing a scientific information that only a prolonged stay on the International Space Station can provide. And as Administrator Bolden just mentioned, uh, and as we all know, it's a really important milestone as we work toward the president's goal of sending humans to Mars in the mid 2030s. We're also very pleased that you took on the president's challenge to be active on social media and Instagram. And we enjoyed looking at your first image from space. Over to you. Over to you. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, yeah, it was uh, my pleasure, a uh, sincere pleasure meeting you um, at the State of the Union address and uh, and talking to you about, uh, you know, what what uh, the goals of NASA are and the International Space Station Program and our future goals. And we appreciate your support towards those ends. And, uh, um, you know, I also really appreciate the the first lady and the and the president's uh, attention to uh, to NASA and the and the space program, and uh, you know I truly believe this is a you know one of the most amazing uh, orbiting one of the most amazing facilities, uh, you know scientific achievements, uh, engineering achievements that we've accomplished, and the uh, the amount of work and uh, science up here we can get done in all different areas of dis all different kinds of disciplines, you know whether it's exploration or or the experiments that improve life on Earth is, uh, you know, very important to to our people and the, you know, in the U.S. and the international community as a whole. And hopefully, you know, the current uh, crews and previous crews and future crews, and not just Misha and myself, will be furthering our goals to put uh, human humans on Mars someday. Well, you guys are all heroes up there, and we're uh, we're depending on you. Well, thanks very much, John, for, uh, for your greetings to Scott. And, Scott, there is, um, there is, in fact, one more person down here with us. I think he's in Tucson or somewhere on the globe. 
Uh, and that's your twin brother, Mark. Uh, I don't know whether you knew or not. Well, you did know because you saw him. He fooled all of us and almost gave us a heart attack when he came out on launch morning with no mustache. So that's the only way I could tell you two apart. So, uh, so Mark is with us. And Mark, if, if you would, if you could talk a little bit about the, uh, the twin study that, that's going to be conducted with, uh, with you and Scott during the year that he's there. Yeah, thanks, Charlie, and thanks, Dr. Holdren. It's, uh, you know, it was great, first of all, for me to be at the launch, to see my brother fly into space one more time. I also want to acknowledge our dad. You know, he's been a trooper, and he's probably, I, he's the only parent that has to go through uh, eight times watching one of their children launch into space, and he handles it so well. So Scott and I both appreciate him. Um, you know, this twin study is, uh, it's going to give us, hopefully, information on what we need to one day go to Mars. We understand a lot about the engineering of a, of a Mars flight, like what, what it would take to get people there uh, and get them back, but we don't understand a lot about the physiology. And this was a unique opportunity uh, to, to study Scott and I, him in space. I'm very, I feel very fortunate to be a small part of this mission, but hopefully the data that the scientists and physicians obtain from the two of us will uh, give us a better understanding about the physiology of the human body in space, you know, how uh, the unforgivable environment of zero gravity and the radiation environment affects the human condition. Because if we are going to send people to Mars one day, it's not going to be a one-year flight. It'll probably be more than two years. Uh, and there's a lot to learn there. So I'm thankful to be, be part of this. Uh, I'm behind my brother Scott 100% as he spends a year in space. That's a big, big challenge that... Uh, you know, I know he didn't take lightly, um, and I appreciate him doing that for our country. Hey, Mark, thank you very much. And uh, Scott, I also want to thank you for taking the time to let us come in and intrude on your work today. I know we, you've got uh, another group of people that, that want to talk to you uh, after we finish up here, but, but just want to let you know, uh, as I told you before you launched, uh, don't worry about Amico and Sam and Sarah. We got a lot of folk down here who are uh, watching them and making sure they stay okay. Let us know if you need anything. But I really want to thank you for taking on this challenge. Uh, you know, it really is important that we get it all right uh, because we do plan to put humans on Mars in, in the next uh, few, cent few uh, decades here. And the 2030s is the target the president set, and we think we can really make that. So again, to you, Thanks so very much uh, for your service and for taking on this, and thanks so much for spending some time with us today. Well, I really appreciate uh, those words, uh, General Bolden. Also, you come into launch and spending that time, and uh, yes, we all take this uh, job very seriously. Uh, not just the crew members on board, but the uh, you know tens of thousands of people all around the world that make the space uh, station what it, uh, the amazing uh, facility it is. So, thank you. Thanks very much, Scott, again. And uh, we're going to get out of here so you can get Mikael to come join you there. And uh, we want to see how he's doing and, and see the two of you together. So best of luck. Take care. Yes, sir. Thank you. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you, Administrator Bolden, Dr. John Holdren, and former astronaut Mark Kelly. Station, please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communications. Hey, Misha looks good.